Jackson would be a writer. Jackson would be able to play more games. I'm a tooth. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, which one's the tooth? That? So oh gosh, it's huge. I want to watch it, but we don't have time. <laughs> we have to walk through as much as we can in the two hours that we have. Because I want to make it outside. Mm -hmm. It's just staring at you. <gasps> Wait, can those really kill the big ones? No, I just died there. Oh, okay. Sure. They look pretty real, that's awesome. I like this one. It's got all the trees on it. And then the fossils in between. So cute, man. Those are big eggs, actually. Now that I'm looking at them. And there's the big guy. What's that? Mud dog or wasp nest? Oh! Stegosaurus. Uh, is it even alive? Yes, I, I saw it walking. Oh gosh, it's huge. <laughs> well, not scared because we're near it. Let's go. <laughs> so many dinosaurs. Well, these are the good kind too. These are the kind like um. They have squishies. Okay. You have a lioness. Not bad. Toy. That could be the. I don't think it's cute. <laughs> oh, it's one of those fruits. Those are cool. Ooh. Chip away bug. Oh, that's cool. How much? Seven dollars. I'm gonna come back for you. Take and discover. Those are cool. Oh, 3D puzzles. 40. Cool. Interesting. <gasps> Seashells. Ooh, only a dollar. It's not bad. Squeeze me, I'm soft. You are soft. Thirteen, that's not bad actually. These prices aren't as crazy as I was expecting. Um. 
Oh my gosh, look at this shark. It's like a little bean bag shark. Lizard skin, I got a gate. I'm not sure it breaks. I got it. Oh, more. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. Arrowheads. These are nice.
Oh wow, those are real.
looks like an octopus to me. sucks right like it's the worst thing I've ever seen just try to get a rise out of people no you have to like like no there's something about this that like I feel like legitimately like legitimately bothers me um, if people disagree with you right um, they they can deter they can uh, they can just say well you're just being salty and at which point they will toss a salt packet at you <laughs> yeah. we enjoy watching it because we enjoy watching really bad shows it's called Vampire Night. It's on oh, Netflix. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst. I got through three episodes and quit. <laughs> it's so bad. It's kind of like when you like to sleep with your real brother or your adopted brother. <laughs> 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 that, that, that was the first. That was the first. I said it's Twilight, but if Bella was actually useful. Shots fired. Night in the area. Sports anime about soccer. I haven't played soccer for 18 years. I can just say that incorrect. My <laughs> major plot point is that there's an older brother and a younger brother, and the older brother kills his family to test his card. Um, so the older brother, uh, okay, there's a car accident. The younger one is hit by a car. The older brother is like, take my heart, and he dies. The older brother now has his heart. All right. Like, I'm okay. gonna be a great soccer player now. <laughs> okay. So I was a little punk bitch. <laughs> and, and somehow there's a female soccer player who wears an alien mask and poses up to try to get him to go back to soccer. Well, I think we're talking about a bad version of crossfit. And he always gets like flashbacks of his brother. And he's like, oh no. My heart! <laughs> <laughs> my brother's heart! That's a shown in the anime. Yeah, uh, seriously. <laughs> like, we're still talking about soccer? Just being salty. Man, that sounded like a train wreck. <laughs> no, a car wreck. Someone pointed out, like, something uh, that would have made, like, so much better, and I'm just kind of like, yeah, this show is now lesser uh, in, in, in my eyes because of that missed opportunity. Screw my hero academia. Whoa! I tell you started to rip the song. Go beyond! Go beyond! That 
<laughs> Let the witch speak! Wow! Let the heretic speak! Because <laughs> <laughs> I now have all the ammunition! <laughs> Back where we started. Okay. <laughs> I got the, the melody and the lyrics and they're made of words. In autumn morn, in the country away, one pleasant evening, in the mountain's bed, I spied a damsel, she was young and handsome. Today's video is a haul for everything I got at Dragon Con. Dragon Con is an annual, very large convention in Atlanta, Georgia. This year I went again. I drove there. I didn't drive, but everyone in my group um, had to take a car and we had designated drivers going there. It was very um, tiring, so I just got back. I wanted to film this. No special setup or anything because I have a lot of gifts to hand out and I don't want to keep them waiting. So I'm just going to wing it I guess <laughs> hopefully I got everything we pa try to pack everything com as com compact as possible to fit in the car so I'm hoping that everything is here and I didn't leave anything so I'll start with the art there was a lot of artists there this year that I was really interested in um uh, two of which I actually follow on tumblr and I was not aware they were going to be there so when I saw their booths I was ecstatic so the first artist um I have one thing from him that's not in this pile his name is Vaughn. I I can't remember his um, actual name, but he goes by Vaughn on social media. There's his signature. And I bought this print from him. It was $15 for one small print, two for 30 and then the larger prints were 40 I also got this discounted sketchbook. According to him, these were misprints, so there was something wrong. A lot of them were uneven on the spine, like the line would go either higher or lower than he wanted, and some other issues, but I flipped through it. I still liked a lot of the artwork inside. I thought it was fine, so I got, got it for the discounted price. He signed it for me. It's his second edition, so artwork and sketches from 2015 to 2016. And it just has a lot of really cool art. His art appeals to me a lot because it's pencil. I absolutely love drawing the most in pencil. And I really admire how clean his sketch work is because um, that's always a problem I have whenever I try to scan or showcase my pencil work online. I don't really do it much anymore because I, I have such a problem doing it. Um, and his just comes out so clean and it's, it's a real inspiration for me. So that's what I aspire to be, a really good pencil sketch artist. One day, maybe one day. Next, I got this print from an artist called Jisoo. I've never heard of her, but I did have a friend who specifically requested Diva slash Overwatch artwork for her walls. So I got these two prints from this artist for her. I have to say I'm a little disappointed. I kind of wish maybe I'd only gotten one because she was having a deal, um, two for 30. And if you bought two, you would get a free one, but instead I opted for a free charm, which I gave to another friend because she didn't have any charms my, this particular friend would want. Um, and the reason I was a little disappointed is because they were a little flimsy. Um, they're not in the best quality paper. It's it's nice photo paper, high, um, very 
HD. The artwork is not pixelated or anything. It's just very thin. And the reason I had a problem with that, usually I don't, is because the way she was um, displaying them in her booth. She had a big binder, which a lot of artists do, that you can flip through all the artwork. But that's also where she was storing the artwork itself, like the prints you would buy instead of on the side, like I've seen a lot of artists do. And So a lot of her prints were kind of dented on the corners and stuff. And I was, I don't know, I just feel like that's a little, that's a little risky. Um... So I was kind of turned off by that, um, but the prints I got were fine, and they're they're fine right now. The next artist that I bought from, again from my friend who wanted Overwatch art, is Chrissy Zulo, Zuyo, sorry. <laughs> and I got this Sombra, I believe. I'm not really into Overwatch. I know some of the characters because my siblings play it. And then another Diva. I really like this one. And in addition to this, I don't have the piece of artwork right now because it's very personal, but I did actually meet Diva's voice actress who was there. I got her autograph. I was very happy that I met her. She was really nice. I went to one of her panels with my sister and it was a really nice experience. So if you like Diva, just know that her actress is a very lovely person. She's super nice. She gave me a fist pump. <laughs> So that was a really nice experience to start off the con. Next I have, oh my gosh, these are my favorite. These are two large prints from an artist I also follow on Tumblr that I also did not know was going to be there. She goes by Gaki, super nice lady, and her artwork is so beautiful. Um, hopefully you can see from the glare, I don't want to take them out of the, the sleeves. Um, but she is a digital artist. She also draws traditional. She had some of her original sketches there. But I like her digital art because it's always colored. And the way she manipulates color and just... Oh, it's so amazing. I love all the detail. And you can see all the brush strokes in her art pieces. It's so beautiful. I also bought a pin from her that I don't know where it is. So once I find it, I will show you guys. But do check this artist out. She is amazing. Love her artwork. And those were two for 60, I think, 35 for one. So a little pricey, but I really wanted them. <laughs> the next thing that I have, most of this honestly is probably gonna be gifts for other people. <laughs> so you'll, you'll hear me say that. This is for my mother. Um, she's very hard to shop for and I hate it when I come back and she's like, oh, I don't really like this. So I tried to find something cute. Usually if I like something, she likes it too. So I found this Tokidoki uh, drawstring bag, I guess is what it is. Um, it comes with this charm that I thought was pretty cute. And the bag itself just has a lot of the Doki Doki characters on it. It has a front pocket right here with this zipper clasp, clasp. Sorry, I thought that was cute, so hopefully she likes it. I'm hoping she does. Um, the next thing that I bought was this one. Um, I believe her name is Jian. She is from Fate Zero or Fate Stay Not. I'm not 100% sure. This is another gift for a friend. I sent him a picture of all the plushies they had and he picked this one out. It is official, thankfully. You got to be careful with conventions and make sure because a lot of the vendors sell unofficial merch. Usually it's very obvious by the price, but some of them do try to sell them for a full retail price, uh, which is messed up because they're not real. She was very comfortable, so I'm sure he will enjoy her. I used her as a pillow um, on the way home. Using her as a pillow made me realize I kind of want one of these now because <laughs> they're very comfortable, very snuggable. Let's keep the plushies going. This is a plushie of the Alolan uh, Vulpix, I believe. And this is for another friend who likes ice stuff. Very hard to find something with that description, but thankfully I found a booth that was selling this one for a reasonable price. And I don't think they're Pokemon official, but they are really nicely made. Or at least this company, Ollie Factory, managed to get the license for it because all of their plushies looked really well made. So I, I'm hoping he'll like it. And next I have this hoodie for my brother. It is Lucio, I think, Overwatch themed. Um, this booth had a really nice selection of custom hoodies for the series as well as t-shirts. I like it when they incorporate a design into a clothing item so that it's wearable. It's not just you walking around with the logo of the series you like. That one was pricey though. It was about $65. Next I have this part, this little tote bag that I also bought for someone else. It has a corgi on it. I thought the art was really cute. And this is by um, Cuffied.etsy.com. K-A-F-A-I-D. 
And you can find them on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and Store Envy as well. Hopefully y'all can read that. But it was only $25, so, which I thought was a pretty good price for a really cute bag. So here's the pin for Gaki's art. She likes um, mushroom aesthetic a lot. And I was tempted by the mushroom, but this one was just so pretty. I love the logo she uses. The original kind of colors for this look very gory, but I think this one is at least wearable, so it doesn't freak anyone out when I <laughs> put it on my bag or anything. And this one was 12 In addition to the convention, I also visited a couple of museums. I always go to the Georgia Aquarium. However, this year I didn't really see anything at the gift shop that I wanted, so I just got two things for my parents. I got my mother these earrings. They're a penguin. And then I got my father this very expensive bottle opener, but it felt very good quality. Um, I thought it was like $10, but when I went to go check out, it said 20 So, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. That's, I think, what it was. I didn't see the one there. But it's very nice, hard metal. So I think, I think it was okay. And it looks really cool. So even if he doesn't use it as a bottle opener, it makes for a good like display piece on his car or something. I don't know. And then I also visited the Furbank Museum of Natural History, which was awesome. I unfortunately only had two hours to try and go through the whole thing, which is not enough because the outside area is a two hour trip alone. So I had to rush through a lot of it. Um, but the gift shop had a lot of really cool stuff. Um, first I got a couple of these eggs, which I'm not going to open because these are gifts. I already gave the first two to the people they were intended for. Now there's some stuff on there, sorry. Um, but these, this is basically putty. It's like having slime, except inside the slime is a little dinosaur figurine. These were pretty cheap, only $4, and the outside egg is colored and textured really nicely, so I thought that was a really good deal. So hopefully, this is for my brother, I'm hoping he'll like it. I also got... A couple of Tabasco sauce chocolate because I was curious it it's good it just tastes like chocolate with some spice added to it they were cheap so I got those just just to bring us something fun to try then I also got two of the coins I love getting these when I go places the little flattened pennies and then for myself, I got this absolutely adorable beanbag plush. And this is by Puffers. I tried to find them online, but I couldn't. So I just went ahead and bought him. He's so cute. I kind of wish they'd had a bigger version. But he was so adorable. And I love him. He's like, so he's really soft and has beanbag inside. Beanbag texture. In addition to that, I also visited the SCAD fashion show. Um, the display that they had there by a famous French artist, I can't remember his name, I will put it in here once I figure it out, it was really nice. They did have a gift shop, but I didn't really find anything that I wanted, plus it was all really expensive. But um, SCAD is also a fashion or an art school that has an animation department and everything, it was, so they have a bookstore. And I went in there initially looking for some textbooks that I needed, but they had an art section that had a clearance bin, and I found all of these acrylic golden open acrylic paints for only one dollar and a lot of these retail for about 15 so i thought that was a really good deal i got a bunch of purples and reds i got red oxide um transparent red iron oxide jenkins green green gold pyrrole red van dyke brown um raw umber alizarin crimson hue and then i also found this gouache i used to paint a lot in gouache i still have a couple so i thought this would be a good addition because it's a silver accent it's really pretty and the nice thing about gouache is that you can put it on top of anything really so i thought that would be good to add little fine details on pieces and it was only a dollar so that was awesome an awesome find i bought nail polish from this booth last year however they didn't have a color that i was interested in and i didn't really care for their perfumes um, this year, but I did get some samples. These actually smell pretty good. Um, they are the Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. They're there every year. They're really awesome. They have a great selection of scents. So I do recommend at least checking them out. The next booth, I don't have a name for. I don't, I didn't see their name, but I did get, uh, they sold like a bunch of anime and Japanese snacks. Um, but they also had these little grab bags on the last day. I thought this one was really funny. I already opened it. I didn't give it to a friend yet. It was um, just full of random knickknacks. 
So it came with this little floaty. Uh, I believe this is from the Squid Girl game. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. Um, some headphone covers. <laughs> this little thing which if you've seen some of my candy sun hauls you will remember and i believe the figure is still in there there's also this button of this anime girl i feel like i know where she's from but i don't know the name specifically and then finally there was a blind blind bag um box that i opened and this girl was inside i think it's from love 2000 percent or something like that it's about idols <laughs> but i'm probably gonna give this bag to a friend of mine because i know he likes cute anime girls i only bought it for the novelty because it made me laugh <laughs> when i saw it um but i also did buy from that same booth he said if you bought two of or one of these you would get one for free so i got this pack of stickers from free has haruka on the front very cute i saw the shark and i was like i need it and then i can't see it with the ribbon and then this one that i think is just standard themed with his school uniform i thought those were cool and it has a good chunk of stickers in there so i thought that was a good deal i think those were ten dollars but five technically each for my significant other i bought him this figure it's really hard to shop for him because i don't know what he likes he likes a lot of stuff but they're very obscure so I had to settle for the thing that was most popular and they would probably have, which thankfully they did. This girl is from Toho, I believe is what it's called. It's a video game. And I have not opened her. I'm going to let him open her. So hopefully <laughs> it's official and it's not in pieces because she went through a lot to get here. Moving on, I went to a booth called CoolStuff.com. They were giving away a lot of tote bags, which was good because I needed them. From there, I bought this Sushi Party card game. It looked fun, and I wanted to buy some board games. That's um, that's pretty much all they sold, that and some card, card packs. Yu-Gi-Oh! mainly, and Magic the Gathering. But this sounded really fun, and the artwork was really cute. Plus, it was only $16, and I thought that was a good deal. I also got, oh here's their card, so it's coolstuffinc.com, games and collectibles, and then I also bought this little pack of card sleeves for some of my um, forcible cards. It was only a dollar, so that was good, and then I also got this board game, which I um, a friend helped me purchase. We split the cost of it up. It's called Founders. It kind of sounds like Settlers of Catan, which I'm a fan of, so I figured it would be nice to give it a try. And it seems very complicated, but you get all these cute characters on it. And it was, it's very heavy, so I'm hoping um, usually the more complicated they are, the more fun they tend to be. So hopefully that's that'll be good. Good to play with friends. There was, I don't think I have their card, but there was a booth that sold a lot of really nice t-shirts. I got another one of these. I already own it. It's a One Punch Man shirt where he says, my favorite panel in the manga. <laughs> Just, okay. <laughs> and I also got a decal of that. I'll have to find it in a bit. But there's that one. And then I also got this for my brother who likes Samurai Jack. I do too, but none of the shirts really appealed to me from this particular booth. And it's in this cool comic panel style. So next I have a shirt from another favorite booth of mine. This is called, their, their brand is called Akumu Ink. They have a lot of really neat designs in this style and they had a shark one this year so i picked that one up at first i was going to get another one um that had edgar Allan poe on it but i decided to get this one it's really neat love it and then here is their sticker slash slash business card this is her friend they're called flow rings they're really cool they were only ten dollars so it's like a thing like that and then you put your hand through it and then it just moves up and down. So I thought that was neat. The next thing that I have is some tea. So there is this particular booth that's there every year called Tea and Absinthe. Um, I have their business card somewhere but I can't find it right now. But I bought two ounce, two ounce packs of their Drink Me and Sundu Tea. I have a friend who particularly 
is a really big fan of the Hufflepuff tea. So a lot of their tea is themed after things. They have Steven Universe, gem ones, and all that. But I thought these two smelled the best. I don't actually drink tea. I'm not a fan of it. But they smelled so good that I thought I'd give them a try. And if not, I have a friend who absolutely adores tea. So they'll go to her. And they were pretty cheap. I think it was like six, eight dollars for two ounces. And then the higher um, the higher the tin, the more it costs. And then in this little bag, I have stuff from... Oh, here we go. So I have another Akumu ink thing. This is a little rubber strap of the design that I was initially going to buy for the shirt. I already have the shirt, but it was it's getting a little run down. That's why I was going to buy another one. Um, this is Edgar Allan Poe in their style. It's so cute. Love it. So I'm going to put that somewhere in my keychain. Next, I got for this particular artist i maybe it's this one it kind of looks like it might be but i'm probably wrong but i got this sticker from an artist only three dollars i thought it was really cute i have more of these samples from the black phoenix alchemy lab but they had those last year so they're nothing special um next i have this diva pin i actually got this for free the overwatch play load tour was there so that's a thing where you um stand on a pedestal that spins around they give you some props from the video game characters and then as you're spinning it'll film you and there's a green screen behind you that allows it to put you in the like loading screen for when you select your character i think it looks really cool so if you did it you've got a free pin and if you did it twice like my sister did you got some decals i only did it once so this pin is going to my friend who loves diva it's a little pixelated drawing of her i thought that was really cool and then I think the last two things that I have are from the Lolita Collective. They have a lot of really cool stuff. I was almost tempted to get some of the jewelry, but I, I held off. Um, and I'm only showing this card, but they had like four more others because they sell a lot of stuff from different brands. And from there, I only bought two pins that I thought were really cool. I got one that says, so it goes. And then this pin. I forgot what that says there. That says, now no remorse. That's cool. I like that. And like I said, they had a lot of cool jewelry. And this is from The Stranger Commas. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Dragon Con is always a convention that I do recommend going to. It is very overwhelming if you've never been to a convention. Thousands of people show up. And traffic can get really scary. <laughs> or... Um, concerning when you walk down to certain hotels because this convention does span about five hotels and then the dealer's room but it's very fun I think you'll have a lot of fun if you look around and go to the things you're interested in I did find some of the cards of the artists so here is Pegasus Publishing they're the ones who had printed the One Punch Man and uh, Samurai Jack shift then I have Gaki and she is on Etsy Instagram and her own website as well as tumblers doesn't mention her tumblr here she might be moving out of it there's tea and absinthe those are the tea people and they also sell a lot of tea items that are really cool recipe books and the little things you put into your cup <laughs> there's chisu's card again i'm a little iffy on her but the art is really nice then i have chrissy zuyo or zulo depending on um how you pronounce that? And then I have Von Art. He does a lot of cool Twitch streams. I do recommend those. I did try to vlog this year. I know you guys said you don't like the quality of the new camera, um, but I did take it with me to try and vlog some of the convention. I think I like it a lot better. It's so much lighter. I had it on a mini tripod the entire time and filming was so easy. easy. So I'll try to put together some kind of mini vlog at the beginning of this video. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I will see you in the, in the next video.